we're going to conclude with some David Menzies wearing his masks are useless. And he's going to uh, make an ass out of himself, as he always does. I will say this is what we're going to be watching here is David Menzies uh, advance voting. Okay, so this is him going to advance vote. My guess is he's voting PPC. But, uh, you know, it's illegal to show the ballot, though, so we're not going to know for sure. But he's going to he's going to try to film himself voting. OK, so here it goes. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Well, I'm outside Richmond. Oh, so he just doxed himself. So he's voting in Richmond Hill, Ontario. This is uh, clearly where David Menzies lives. <laughs> uh you know, that reminds me of more doxing information. Another tangent, but it'll be very brief on this one. You know how we were talking about Mocha and, like, where Mocha comes from and, like, all that fun stuff? Apparently, mm -hmm. on an episode, when I've been planning for, like, more uh, podcast episodes, uh, apparently he, he was a YouTuber in Turkey and would do, like, videos against... I'm guessing Erdogan, like what Ezra says on the show is just against the totalitarian government of Turkey. So he would do YouTube videos criticizing Erdogan. And then that's, uh, that's why he left. <laughs> Cause he got, apparently he was inv investigated and then interrogated before fleeing to, to Canada. I do wonder like criticisms of Erdogan for what yeah no i don't know no, not much was said but i was like that is a new tidbit of, of info erdogan well, erdogan i'm probably spelling all of it wrong pronouncing not spelling because i'm speaking i'm now getting oh. <laughs> david Benzie. green this is the advanced poll that i vote for in my writing of aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. And uh, as you know, folks, you got to wear a mask to access uh, the ballot box in this day and age of COVID-19. But here's the thing, as you can see, I've got the mask on. By the way, this is the only mask I tend to wear when I'm out in the field if I, I'm required to, which is uh, masks are useless, which we sell, by the way. So I've got the mask. I will say, in a lot of the coverage we've seen of him, he's rarely worn this mask. It's mostly just been the surgical, the standard surgical mask. So, you know, not not a huge gotcha, but like, fuck you, David. Why are you lying to us? <laughs> I've got the sunglasses on. I've got the cap on. Here's the thing, folks. You have to show government issued photo ID as well as the voting card just to prove who you are, who you say you are. But as you can see, with all this get up, you don't. On, I could be anyone if I'm not. So what was that, you know? Canada doesn't have photo ID voter laws. Is so, it? Uh, sort of. Uh, so it's complicated. I, I was talking to the people at the voting station about this. Uh, you can vote without voter ID, but you have to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork while at the poll be able to do that uh otherwise what will happen is your name if you're voting in the place that you should be voting you've received your voter card they want your id just to verify that the name on the sheet of paper uh, matches your photo id and that would be sufficient otherwise they want you to verify by filling out a bunch of paperwork basically saying that you're not lying about who you are at pain of being like fine and they're hefty fees. So I remember I was ta talking about this to my wife. Uh, and she was like, you, you mean we don't need voter ID? And she's like, so I could just go in there and pretend to be our neighbor and vote or whatever. And she's like, and anyone can just do this. And I was like, well, do you want to try it and find out if it works? <laughs> like, You know what I mean? Like, part of the thing is like, no one's going to actually try to do it. Because like the, in the incentive is just not there. You know what I mean? Like the fine is not like, the risk of being uh, found criminally liable for fraudulently casting a vote is not worth the one extra vote to like do that, you know? 
And plus, like, they have a pretty yeah. good checking system that, like, if your neighbor then comes in to vote that you fraudulently casted a vote for, and then all of a sudden it said she vote twice, an investigation is going to happen. You know what I mean? The... I guess what I mean by the voter ID, like, like, yeah, we have voter ID, but it's not, like, picture, like, photo ID. Because, like, yes, most of that ID does happen to have a picture on it, but it's not the photo part of it that matters, right? Like you were saying, it's the name. Like, they don't actually check the photo, so the photo has nothing to do with it, which is what he's talking about. That, like, that's, that's the exact same that yes what's amazing about this yeah. is he's doing a stunt thinking that it means something because he's like vote, vote yeah. ID is required but it's like he doesn't get it <laughs> it's like you could use your birth certificate which doesn't have photo id right it's just government issued id mm -hmm. so it's like he's making this big stink about like photo id which one is incorrect but then two it's like they have the ID not to make sure that your face matches the thing, but just to make sure that the name on their sheet matches you having a government-issued ID. That's it. They don't care about what you look like, right? But watch, uh, watch where he takes this. So he's already incorrect on the merits of this little skit that he's doing. But then watch all the, like, fun, fun directions that he takes it in. And by fun, I'm, you know, racist and all kinds of other shit. Asked to remove my mask and glasses and cap. I could be anyone pretending to be David Menzies. This was an issue we took up in 2015 when we um, also voted in advance poll. Do you remember that? For that one, I wore a burqa. Check it out. So he's done this before, oh but last God. time he wore a burqa and uh, filmed it. So we're going to uh, see this from the 20 2019 election. So. Oh. Now, David was no. having some fun. He put on some gloves and carried a purse. And at least uh, at first he spoke in a high pitched oh voice. God. I mean, talk about suspicious. A six foot tall man in in the cab speaking in a squeaky voice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's in the cab. Yeah. Well, look at what happened when he that's showed what they up. They look like. But, like, uh, imagine, the, like, oh you already God. know that the whole setup, the whole premise is flawed and stupid. And here he is, like, <laughs> Look at me showing how unsecure our election is by wearing a uh, burqa and then speaking in a high pitched voice and casting a vote. Oh. Like, what fucking idiot? They're so one bigoted and two stupid. Like, the, what, like, all this is trying to prove is that, like, well, we don't know. They could be anyone. So, therefore, we don't know who they're voting. But it's like, the photo ID isn't to identify them. If they have a government uh, issued ID with their name on it, that's all that's required. And if their name's on the sheet of paper because you get a voting card, that's pretty much sufficient. And even if they don't have those things, they can fill out a fucking form. So all of this is just to be racist, to fear monger of this like weird, I guess, like hidden Muslims who are somehow committing a whole bunch of voter fraud that doesn't. I mean, in 2015, it's the year of barbaric cultural practices act like yeah. which oh did i say to be clear trudeau's yeah. liberals did vote in support of yeah, yeah like it's just like oh my god this fucking sucks i okay yep. let's get this part oh, over no. with so that i don't have to like i'm here to vote please we have the, oh my fucking god British. i hate this so I can you as the oh I think I might take off my headphones. I don't know if I can stand to listen oh, to this. It'll be done, very good. Yeah, like like no okay. yeah, so incredibly. So, uh, so what oh, that old worker just said, because I was talking over it, was that he had to swear an oath rather than show his face. So they're gonna, he's going to make a big deal about that, but like, okay, he swore an oath to say that he wasn't lying about who he was. Cool. What, what fucking... Tell me human being. I was not asked to unmask in 2015, and uh, it, I think it's shocking because this can lead to voter fraud. So I'm going to go in. Look, mask, I love like the, glasses, the lack of acknowledgement. How see are we lead if to I am fraud? required to unmask to prove that I am who I say I am. Let's see what happens. That sure didn't go according to plan. Um... <laughs> 
we don't even know what it is yet. We just know that it didn't. Something happened. It did not go according to plan. <laughs> if it is, masks are useless wearing shades. Uh, that's probably the only truth he's ever told. That it, it it's not going according to plan. Um. Oh, first of all, one of the scrutineers. Uh, he must have x-ray vision. He recognized me through all that getup, and he told me to stop recording. And once he pointed out that that is the rule, it was posted uh, in the lobby of the Richmond Green facility here. I did indeed stop recording. What choice did I have? That's odd because we know that wasn't the rule in 2015. I know you can't videotape the marking of a ballot, but maybe they've put some other rule in Maybe it was because of our report how embarrassed they were by allowing a male wearing a burqa to right. vote without identifying himself. Facially. The one, the one rebel report changed all of election uh, laws, right, David? Although that being said, uh, they did change the debate rules to prevent rebels specifically from not asking questions during a debate. So who knows? Maybe their conspiracy theories are correct. Who knows? I will reach out to Elections Canada about that. Uh, in any event, um, I think we approved the point again of the flaw <laughs> in the system. I was never asked to take off my mask and glasses, even though I offered. Uh, listen, this is an outrage to me. If you have government photo ID, what use is it? If, as I said earlier, you can't match the face on the photo with the face that the person has standing in front of you, it does not make sense. And I think it's something that has to be addressed going forward. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. David really just cracked that one wide open. <laughs> what I love is like it takes all of two seconds to just think about and go, oh, so they have, they give you those, like, voting cards to tell you that, like, we know where you are from, and so your name is on the sheet of paper that's at that riding association, and so you go in there, and then you just show something to say, like, I am the person here, or you sign something basically attesting that you are who you say you are, and then you vote, and you view, and then they'll be like, well, then what couldn't fraud happen? And it's like, who's going to commit that fraud? Who, like, like, think about like the next step. That is all they have to think about is who's going to try to commit that fraud? You have to know for one, someone who's absolutely not going to be voting. And two, <laughs> you have to uh, write down a whole bunch of information that could like catch you in case you are committing the fraud so it's like you know and then all of a sudden if it uh like a signal is sent that a fraudulent vote has casted they will start investigating and you could be fined severely for doing such a thing so why would you risk it photo id is essentially useless correct who cares what what clown what utter clown I mean, I guess the one good thing about this story is that it they didn't release the video till like, uh, the day of the election. <laughs> so it's like, did it really have an effect on anything? Like, it's probably not a good uh, message to uh, put out there. But, uh... <laughs> I love this comment. Um... Hilarious. So true. We're all a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, my rebels. Hello, my rebels. I'm a good boy. I'm a weirdo.